Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Uh, I have a rare second video in one week post. Um, basically what this is, is uh, I sent a trade to Firebox Breaks, and this is going to be what he sent back to me. And then same thing with Leaf Fan Down Under, he was interested in a trade in a card I pulled. And uh, I sent some stuff his way. So um, I also want to apologize for my last video I posted. I feel like I was quite tired when I made it. So uh, I know I struggled through it a little bit. And uh, hopefully this one's a little better. So we'll start with uh, Firebox Breaks, which, by the way, uh, Firebox Breaks right there. Go over to his channel, give him a sub. He posted the card that I traded it to him so if you want to see what he got for me go over and check out his videos uh the video that he got a card from me and my channel's name is right in the title of the video so this is from firebox breaks he says first and foremost i'd like to say thank you for the trade i'll definitely cherish the R Rume autograph i had i hope you enjoy the return cards and extras firebox breaks so um I have my scissors, I pre-opened the packages to a point, but uh, I didn't bring my knife with me, so hopefully I don't have to struggle through this too much. So this is the first uh, little package. We have a uh, Tim Hortons pack, which I think I'm gonna open right now. Uh, there's one on the other one as well. Um, I've never opened Tim Hortons before. Uh, we don't have them in the States, and uh, this is the first opportunity I've ever had to open that so I feel like I want to open it right now but what I think I'll do since I'm already showing that card is I'll show what's in here first and then I'll open this pack half this video is going to be struggling through opening everything which is normal uh, let's see we have uh, Dylan Cousins from looks like SPX uh, it's numbered out of 2,999. Always like me some Dylan Cousins cards. And behind it, we have a Victor Olsen autograph from Artifacts. Uh, I think my last box of Upper Deck Ice had a jersey card of Olsen in it as well. And we're going to open... The Tim Hortons packs, if I can uh, get it open, it's already it's already fighting me. Uh, see, the scissors came in handy after all. Uh, let's see what's in here. If I can over ever get it open, here we go. We start with a uh, Mark Recchi. That's cool. I don't even remember he played for the Bruins, to be honest. Uh, we have a Canvas Legends of Johnny Bauer, which Leaf Fan Down Under would love that card, I'm sure. And then we have a Megan Agosta. I'm not super familiar with the female players, but I know they're in here. That's pretty... I think that one's a base as well, but the, the Canvas Legends is pretty cool. And the second pack also has another Tim Hortons pack in it, so I will open that once I get this apart. Let's bring in the plastic with it. Alright, so on this one, I'm just going to bring the pack on first. And then we'll get to what's inside the, uh... What's inside the package from fire. Alright. Theo Fleury, shout out to John the Autograph Fisherman, as that's his uh, favorite player. And then we have a... Trend center trend setters of Al McKinnis. Uh, 
and a Scott Gomez. All right, and let's get into the last of uh, this package here. So we have a Star Rookies of Owen Power. I'm slowly starting to collect his cards and add them to the uh, to the mix. We have a Sam Reinhardt Obsidian Scripts, which this is a pretty awesome card actually. Uh, I was I was not sad when Eichel left, but when Reinhardt left, it was a it was a sad day because I was a big fan of his. So that's a pretty awesome package there from Firebox Break. So thank you very much. Go over to his channel, give him a sub, look at what I sent him. Uh, I don't know how even the trade was because uh, I only sent him the one card he wanted. But uh, I truly appreciate it. And this might take me a little longer than I thought. This is the package from Leaf Fan Down Under, which... Uh, this might take a minute here as I was unprepared for this. I guess I was more prepared. I usually just have my a knife with me, but I brought scissors this time and it seems like they're gonna come in handy. Alright. We are part way into this brick of cards that he sent. I'm actually surprised the, uh, I've never shipped anything, like I've shipped from the U.S. to Canada before, but I've never shipped to, like, another country, and surprisingly from the Buffalo, New York area to Australia and back, uh, my package only took about two weeks to get there, and that's about how long it took for his package to come to me, so that was pretty cool. It's gonna take me a minute here. I'm still ripping through packaging. These cards were uh, about as secure as you could get them, I guess. All right, I got all the cards out of the package. There is a note here. I will admit I did not send Leaf Fan a note in his package it says hey james thanks so much for the trade threw in a few extras buddy so hope you enjoy the cards keep up the awesome content on the channel your friend michael yuki and corona thank you for the note as with all notes i save them forever they don't ever get thrown out they go in a little drawer i have i probably messed up the order these cards were going to be shown in as i was uh removing them from the packaging but uh they're just going to be in the order they are in now so first one we have a Dylan Cousin Protégé, which uh, I love stature, so that's awesome. The next one we have is a uh, Tom Barrasso Vesna Trophy. 83-84 on there. This is a, definitely an older card, but that's pretty cool. Now we have another stature card. The Dominator, Dominic Hasek. Let's see, we have a Between the Pipes of Dominic Hasek and Grant Fuhrer. We have a uh, OPG Platinum, K Casey Middlestat. Yep, Rainbow Color Wheel. We have a former Sabre in this one, Ryan O'Reilly from OP Tree Platinum, Violet Pixels. We have a Zach Cassian, Phenom's uh, Auto here. This is a Panini product, I think, out of 299. Yeah, Panini product. It's funny, it says Vancouver back here. Must have been right after he got traded, maybe. Um, I have a couple of these cards I've bought as I've been upping my Sabres collection. We have another auto of Mark Pissick. Um, Sign of the Times. Okay. 
he uh, he was on the team, then he left the team, then he came back to the team, and now he's gone again. He signed somewhere else. We have a radiance of Eric Rasmussen. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a minute. If I remember correctly, he was a little bit of a rough player back for them when. I think he was on the team when Rob Ray was and Brad May and all those guys. We have a future watch of Nick Baptiste, two nine ninety nine. He uh, he wasn't on the Sabers for a super long time. Cody Hodgson, auto on uh, Ultimate Signatures. Is this from the Cup? Is that what that is? No, it's Ultimate Collection. Cody Hodgson, that's a, that's a name that uh, the Sabres put a lot of hopes on, and he didn't really work out that well for them. Um, here's one of the cards I was really excited to get, actually. Uh, Dylan Cousins, Rookie Auto to 199 on Stature. It's on card. Um, happy to get this one in the collection. see what else we got here. We have a Buffalo Sabres Power. Uh, Pat LaFontaine in the middle. That Alexander Mogilny. And who's the other one? Who's, who's the other one? Oh, Jason Daw. I just didn't recognize him. Jason Daw. Now we have a... National Treasures to 99 of Mark Pissick also. Uh, this is an RPA. Pretty sick card. I like the patch. And the final card is going to be a uh, Victor Olsen Rookie Auto to 99. Embedded Endorsements Clear Cut. Um, never opened any Clear Cut actually. But that's also a sick card. So, um, as of the recording of this video, Lee Fan has not posted what I sent him yet, but I'm sure it'll be arriving soon. So, thank you very much to both Fire Box Breaks 